Okay, so let's start with the first one. The first one is called Ripple Edit Tool. It's located in a tool panel over here. It has this sign with arrows going both ways. And it also has a shortcut letter B. So if I press B, it's automatically going to select this tool. And what it does here, like let's say, let's first go ahead and watch these clips a little bit so we know what we're working with. So I got this ants here going on a piece of wood on the side of the building. Then I have this nice bee on the flower. And I also have a cat walking on the grass. So we have these three clips we're going to be working with. So what the ripple edit tool does, when you select it here, if we go over here, you can see that this sign is actually became yellow. It's not red anymore. And if you press left mouse click and just move it, you can see that you find the same place where you want to kind of trim it. Let's say we're going to trim it over here and then we'll let it go. There we go. It trimmed it and it automatically closed the gap so that you don't have to do that in the second step. I find this is really works awesome because it saves you one more step that you have to do one more action. And when you have to do hundreds of those trims like this, this is really saves you a lot of time. And even if you're using the selection tool, if you go between these clips or between through edits, it works with both. If you press control, it automatically changes from red to yellow which means that instead of having the trim selection tool, you're going to have the ripple selection tool. Okay, let's try it out. So go this way. And then this time I'm going to go this way. And for example, I want to start, I want to trim it when it starts to fly. Okay, there we go. So find the place where it starts to fly. Let it go. There we go. Right now you can see I have trimmed it and there is no gap left. So this is really great. So this is it guys, I hope you like it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Also let me know in the comment section below what other videos you want me to make. I hope you have a nice day, I'll see you soon, bye bye.